Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at something really incredible that's SRT streaming to anywhere in the world. All right, SRT stands for Secure Reliable Transport. It was invented by High Vision. It's now open source and it's built into Adobe Premiere Pro. It's coming to YouTube soon. Uh, I'm shooting this in uh, February, 2025. I haven't seen it yet, but other people are starting to get this as a streaming choice so that you can go right from the Premiere Pro timeline out to YouTube live streaming, including if you stop and, and scrub the timeline. And one of the great things about SRT is it's a low latency and it's wicked fast. So it's not like sending a giant screen recording of a whole screen. That takes a lot of resources here. I'm running Premiere Pro, OBS, and Camtasia, and it's recording my 4K screen. So you might not see smooth playback depending on, on how it goes, but it is a very reliable source. It's used in the professional broadcast world, and it's great because any of us can use it now, and SRT is showing up as streaming sources in lots of different formats. I'm gonna show you where, how to set it up in Premiere Pro, and then I'll show it to you live in OBS. All right. So in the edit menu on Windows, Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, preferences, playback. This is Mercury Transmit. This is the same technology that will send out to a second monitor or out of uh, different capture cards, professional capture cards. Whatever you have available shows up in here. SRT is always available, so for me, it's the only choice. So there's the device name. I'm sending out the video stream, audio stream. You can offset if you're getting um, some sync issues and click in here for the settings. So you have a choice of being a listener, a caller or rendezvous. This has to do with how the two different sources are communicating. Um, I found my first thought was I'll send out a call from Premiere Pro to OBS and actually it wasn't working for me. I had to make Premiere Pro the listener and OBS the caller or rendezvous is calling and listening. One tip I'll show you here, you notice when I'm in, in listener, I can't change this uh, IP address, but I can in rendezvous and caller. Typically on a home network, um, you'll be given a different IP address if you've, if you've got um, automatic IP addresses and not static IP addresses. They're just uh, sent out automatically. So the last time I, I, I was setting this up, I, I had a different IP address and I turned everything on and it didn't work. So you just have to make sure you know what your machine's local IP address is. And today mine is 192.168.167 and the port which you can change, the port was automatic and it's 4201. But again, I'm, I'm in the listening mode. The rest of these I don't have to worry about, but I can use a passphrase and you can see it says create a passphrase to encrypt the stream and share it with the stream recipient. So you can have encrypted streams going out. This is all built in and part of the technology and no, it doesn't slow it down to be encrypted. Okay, so that's set up here in Premiere Pro. If I go to my Lumetri uh, panel, you don't see it, go to the window menu, Lumetri color, in the settings, not in the editing part, but in the settings, open up uh, preferences and open up transmit playback. And you can see there's the same settings. Refresh is there if you just happen to connect a new device and you don't see it. But like I said, SRT is always there. Clicking on the gear will get us back to that same setting. So I'm gonna go to OBS now. and you create a new media source, like I've done here. You turn off local file and restart uh, playback. And this is the URL, SRT colon slash slash 192. This is my machine, 192.168.167 colon 4201. That's the port, question mark, mode equals caller. And down here, the import format is 
MPEG TS. So this here, caller and listener, like I said, when I originally tried this, I did Premiere Pro as the caller. And I, you know, I, I guess I thought it's sending the signal, but that has nothing to do with it. That's just a communication between the two devices. So I, ch this was listener and Premiere Pro was caller. Didn't work, changed Premiere Pro to listener, changes to caller, boom, and it worked right away. So if I go back to Premiere Pro, and hit play and go back here. And remember, I'm recording this a 4K screen on Camtasia at the same time. And if I pause, to come back here, it's gonna pause. And I'm sending out audio so you see the, the SRT audio showing up right there. So that's how you can set this up in OBS. And if I wanted to, I could stick another picture in picture, maybe of a camera, of me. And of course, you can have as many scenes as you want. Uh, so if you wanted to incorporate the, your Premiere Pro timeline playback with you as a talking head in the corner uh, to if you're presenting this out to someone, the lag from Premiere Pro is gonna be minimal because you're not sending out a giant screen capture. Try this out, it's amazing. And if you're going out to um, uh, YouTube, you again, you could still use OBS if you wanted the picture in picture and, and more scenes and things like that. But if you just wanted the stream of Premiere Pro going out to, um, to YouTube, pretty soon now, I checked just recently, it's still not available for me, but it might be available for you and you can start streaming SRT to YouTube and to anywhere else. This is a great new open source format. I did a tutorial before on NDI tools, which is again, based on the open source format, but this is without having to install NDI tools or anything else. You're just using Premiere Pro um, and Mercury Transmit playback and any other uh, device in the network that can see this device. So if I was, if someone else was running an SRT viewer, a camera viewer, and there's, search for it, you can, you can get, there's um, smartphone applications where you can send an SRT from your phone to OBS if you wanted to, or again, in the future, right to, to uh, YouTube, you don't even need Premiere Pro. SRT, anyone in my network that um, I allow can be viewing this same stream. And that's how this is done in large uh, broadcast organizations where they're sending streams out. You could even be sending a stream from your local network to someone else's network somewhere going through the WAN and connecting and they see your source and you're somewhere else. Of course, you're gonna need some, some pretty kick-ass uh, downstream, upstream to be able to do that, but that's the beauty of SRT. It's rock solid, low latency, and completely encrypted. I think it's pretty cool. Hey, if you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to uh, look inside those little buttons inside Premiere Pro and, and start to explore different ways that we can use things like SRT streaming.